Hello everybody, I am Adi Chu, and today we're going to be breaking 100 myths in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, myth number one. The clouds are so realistic that if you fly a hot air balloon through them, you will make a hole in the cloud. Alright, so lucky for us, it is quite a cloudy day. Let's see if we make a hole through this cloud up here. Uh, currently, it's just a lot of mist. I'm gonna need to get out of this cloud to see if there's been a hole that's been made. And was there any visible hole? Uh, not that I can see. I think we're gonna say myth one, busted. All right, myth number two, newspapers can stop bullets. All right, so I found a man holding a newspaper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my weapon out and I'm gonna aim right for his bottom torso. <laughs> Oh, okay, guess not. That bullet definitely went through him. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah, so as you can see, if I try to get a close-up of it, as the bullet whizzes by, it clearly penetrates past the newspaper, as you can see, and then there's obviously visible blood. So yeah, busted. All right, myth number three. If you kidnap a Night Folk member and bring them to civilization, they will assimilate with the population. All right, here's a Night Folk member I can take. All right, here we are, civilization. Let's see if either the Night Folk member starts attacking people or if they just kind of like try to like blend in with the rest of humanity. Oh, okay. So far she's just walking away. She's not even running. She's acting pretty normal. I mean, these people are freaks. I mean, she should be just murdering everyone on sight. Like, I am so surprised that none of the other NPCs are even shocked by this. Like, bro, do you not see this psycho right behind you? And okay, so it turns out this myth is indeed true. One of the main characters in the game, Jack Marston, cannot be killed no matter what. Now, Jack Marston is, of course, a child. This does seem pretty immoral to try this, but I, I just have to know. Now, of course, when you aim at him, the rectangle will gray out, but I can shoot him on the sides. Dead? Is he dead? Nope. Still alive. Okay. How about another explosive bullet on the side? Is he dead? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Damn it, Jack. Stop being invincible. Listen, he's a five-year-old kid, okay? He shouldn't be taking explosive bullets like that. You can lasso a person and drag them off a moving train. Naturally, I'm gonna choose this guy. Now stay there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the rope physics are so weird. I think this counts pretty nice. Uh, minus these rope physics though. I wish I could make this less weird. All right, myth number six. You can play the piano by shooting the keys with your gun. So let's see, we can really do this. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, forgot to take the explosive bullets out of my gun. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to find another piano. All right, we got ourselves a new piano here. Let's see if this works. Okay, I'm not hearing any sound. Okay, it doesn't work. All right, myth number seven. You cannot burn the American flag. Let's see if this is true. Nope. Okay, if this doesn't work, then we know for sure. Oh, come on. It just goes through the flag. Yeah, it's official, it's immortal. In the final mission, you can shoot Micah before he tackles you. This is the part where Micah should be coming somewhere from behind here. Oh. Oh. What the? Come on. Okay, I don't know, I tried twice. It wasn't letting me shoot for some reason, so I did a bit of research and it is definitely possible other people have done it. I just I just keep getting unlucky. I don't know, my reflexes just suck, but yes, you absolutely can shoot him. You can get your horse onto a moving train. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh, ow, gosh darn it, horse. You have such a tendency to just be such an idiot. All right, so I found this bridge that kind of just floats over the train tracks here. So once a train passes through here, I'm just gonna jump over the bridge and hopefully my, my horse lands on the train. All right, here it comes. Time this correctly, time this correctly. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, myth number 10. If you kill Sheriff Amaloy in Valentine and then take his body to Santini, he will never respawn in Valentine. All right, well, here he is, Sheriff Malloy. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me. Yeah, I mean, we're extremely far away from Valentine right now. So, this is where you die, Sheriff. 
How many bullets does that guy take? Now let's go back to Valentine and see if he respawns. You're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. He's back. Dynamite will still explode when detonated underwater. Just wait until this stuff is almost ready to blow and we'll throw it. Alright, chuck it. In the chapter 4 finale, Hosea's body can be found and looted during the mission. Now you should be able to climb over this fence. And here's his body, right here. Can we loot? Oh, we can! You can loot him. He holds a gold pocket watch and some bitters. Okay. That is not as exciting as I was expecting, but you can carry him as well. God, this is some messed up crap. Leave me alone. I'm carrying my dead mentor. Can Arthur parkour across buildings like an action hero? I think Santini is definitely the place to try this. Just gotta find a ladder or something so I can get on one of the roofs. Alright, see, so let's start from the hotel. Alright, we're gonna start from here. Alright, looks like there's a fence I can climb over here. Nice, nice. Oh, we did make it, so we're officially parkouring. I, I think this would definitely count as, like, action hero parkour. Oh, okay, looks like we're gonna have to stop here. Let's see if we can make it to this other fence. Oh! Oh, no! Damn it. Alright, let's give it another try. Alright, jump onto this building. Alright, leap to this building. Oh, we made it! We made it! Now leap to this one. No! Can he parkour? Yes. Can he parkour? like an action hero that's where it gets a bit like yeah I, I, that, that's definitely busted myth number 14 arthur's pupils will dilate and constrict depending on the light conditions okay so as you can see his pupils are incredibly constricted in direct sunlight now let's see what it looks like in extremely low light okay and now you can see in low light his pupils have indeed dilated Okay, actually, well, hold on a second. Arthur's the main character. Obviously, they're gonna put a lot of detail into him. I'm wondering, do John's pupils also constrict and dilate? All right, as you can see with John's pupils in direct sunlight, also constricted? Yes, and in low light, they do dilate. Amazing. Myth number 16. When Arthur is in the nude, he actually does not have any visible genitalia. For for obvious reasons, you know, like the terms of service, I'm obviously not gonna actually show what I find out. I'm just gonna look for myself and I will let you know. So let's see. All right, so this is Arthur in the nude. I'm doing my investigations right now. Uh, no, uh, it does not look like he has any visible genitalia. At least I hope that's not what Rockstar thinks genitalia looks like. A bullet can pass through more than five people. We've got a Springfield rifle with high velocity bullets, and we're gonna see how many people one bullet can kill. Oh, oh, we only got three. All right, one more time. Six NPCs, fully upgraded Springfield rifle. We're gonna do this with Deadeye. Let's see if we can get over five. And. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that time we got five, I, there were six people there, so that sixth person did survive as you saw. So yeah, I'm pretty sure five is actually the limit, so this is busted. If you put on a police outfit, you will be able to commit crimes with immunity. Oh, look at me, I'm just your friendly neighborhood cop, and now I've decided I'm gonna rob the doctor. Will I get away with it? Here, I'll take your money. Leave. Like nothing, oh, okay, you can't tell on a cop. How's that gonna look? Who do you think the cop's gonna believe? Me or you? You can survive a fall from any height as long as you land in water. All right, let's go, Arthur. <coughs> this is pretty far and no way we survived this. Okay, there we go. Busted only between the hours of 4 and 5 a.m. at Butcher's Creek you will find an ominous red light, but only between 4 to 5 a.m. So let's come back here around that time frame. All right, it's currently 4.10. Where is this red ominous light? Oh, oh, there's definitely something here. Okay, what, what the, ah, oh, okay. This is true. I wouldn't really call this a glowing light. It's more like a, a pentagram or something. It's probably some deeper meaning behind this, but I'm definitely not smart enough to figure it out. Throwing a fire bottle at ice will not cause the ice to melt. Right above a frozen lake, let's see what this does. Well, that did absolutely nothing. Let's give it a few more tries just to make sure. Really, this is just defying every law of science right now. 
You will get wanted for riding a horse under the influence. An RUI, I guess you could say. Obviously, to do this, we're gonna need to get extremely drunk. So I think I have enough alcohol for that. All right, I'd say we're pretty drunk now. Let's see if the, sh the cops care. Hello, Sheriff. Look, I'm riding my horse drunk. I am definitely a danger to society. Does anybody care? Hey, partner. Hello there. No, okay. They don't care. I guess this is 1899. That makes kind of a lot of sense. Public urination is perfectly legal. Okay, so this is, of course, the sheriff. But if peeing in front of this law officer doesn't trigger anything, we know it's legal. Come on, officer, are you gonna do anything about this? No, I guess my guy just does not care. Okay, just to take this a step further, I know this is kind of ridiculous, but what if we just pee on the officer himself? Is that legal? Surely this is gonna count as some kind of assault, right? <laughs> Can I show this on my channel? Surely not. Oh! <laughs> Forgive me, officer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guess it is legal. I peed on it for a good two seconds there. All right, myth number 25. You can count every tree in Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, yeah, actually, it turns out you definitely can. I've done it before. <laughs> Complete torture. Cats defy gravity and most of the time tend to survive high falls. Currently playing as the cat. Let's see if you can truly just survive any fall. All right, this is a pretty high one. Basically like a skyscraper. Let's go. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Oh. Okay, the amount of honor you can get from donating to camp varies depending on the exact dollar amount that you donate. Let's see. So currently my honor is like not the best because I'm just not uh, a very good person. But let's see what the difference is in honor gain for a $1 donation versus like, I don't know, like a $2,000 donation. So that's a dollar. How much honor did that give me? Not really a noticeable amount. Okay, let's see if a thousand does the same thing or if it gives me gives me more. I mean, they better appreciate this. A thousand dollars was like, what, 300 grand back in the day or something? I don't even know. All right, screw it. We're just going to give him like 1,500. Let's see. And, okay, that didn't even move my meter. Okay, so, I mean, it seems to be exactly the same. Horses will poop more the more you feed them. Uh, so in order to test this properly, I'm just gonna wait in 10 in-game hour intervals. I'm gonna see how much my horse poops without feeding him an ounce of food. And then we're gonna do another 10 hours where I literally just force feed him constantly. Let's get to counting. All right, I've been waiting and literally this horse has only pooped one time. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. But this time, for the next 10 hours, I'm going to feed my horse a lot. That's two. It counts. It hasn't even been the full 10 hours yet. Is two defecations. So yes, yes, this is true. Okay, when Arthur gets bit by a snake, he has a visible snake bite that even swells up. All right, bite me snake. Oh, yep, he does get visible bites. He got bit in the foot and as you can see, wow, those are some deep, deep marks. Now let's see if they swell up. Okay, well, after a few minutes, uh, the snake bites do not seem to have any type of swelling at all. So I'm gonna say busted. Okay, so myth number 30. Male NPCs will get irritated if the player constantly goes near them while they're trying to urinate. Out of the damn way! You got a problem? Cheer, look, now he's going back to urinating again. Sorry, sorry, I'll let you stay to your business. All right, let's get up to his business again. <laughs> oh God, that guy did not appreciate that. You will take less fall damage in the snow. Uh, currently, we're just gonna fall to normal ground. Let's see. Oh, all right. We took about that much damage. All right, now I'm gonna cover the entire map in snow. Same place, back to full health. Let's see if we take less. What exactly is your plan? Oh, holy crap, we took more. Okay, you know what? I guess the opposite is true. I guess you take more damage in the snow. Interesting, okay. All right, you can shoot ropes. And for that, the law demands that you- Yep, definitely. 
I just stopped that hanging and now they're punishing me for it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just wanted to test the myth out. All right, now if you throw dynamite near a dog, it will instinctively play fetch. So let's see. Hey, here you mutt. Go, fetch. Okay, he, he guess he's a smart dog. It went in the opposite direction. I guess dogs are not as stupid as I thought. Okay, recyclable food cans will float in water. Do they follow the natural law of buoyancy? Arthur, eat your corned beef. And let's see what happens to the can. Nope, it sinks. In this cutscene, when Dutch comes up with the idea as a boat for an escape plan, he literally looks at a painting of a boat when he comes up with the plan. Okay, so I'm in the photo mode for the cutscene, and as you can see, Dutch was looking in the direction of this painting right here, which is indeed a boat. Myth number 36. You can find the stash money that the gang originally loses in Blackwater with the help of mods. So currently I've modded it to where Arthur can be in Blackwater without being instantly killed. So yeah, I'm gonna turn this city upside down to try to find the stashed money. We need the money. All right, well, I looked everywhere. This money's definitely long gone. If you run over dynamite with your vehicle, it will explode. All right, let's just place some dynamite right here. And then let's reverse very slowly. All right, didn't work that time, let's try it again. All right, clearly it's not working. I've run it over multiple times, and if, as you can see, my wagon is literally like crushing the dynamite. I guess that's just not how dynamites work. They won't blow up unless you ignite them, so busted. Cats will run away from dogs when chased. So let's find a cat. Come on, cat. All right, here we go. You gonna run? Oh, I think he's running. Yeah, yeah, he gets scared. Holy crap. Yeah, the cat, the cat does not like this. Oh man, come back, cat. Come back. <sighs> yeah, no, it's a pussy. All right, taking an electric lantern into water will electrocute you. All right, come on, and uh, no, doesn't seem to be doing it. And then the second he does, it does hit the water, he just lets it go. Uh, just out of curiosity, I'm also gonna try this uh, electrostatic detector. This is definitely gotta do something, come on. Oh, nothing. With the exception of a few special characters that are meant to be like dwarfs, all the generic male NPCs are the exact same height. Uh, let me just line them up. I'm not gonna lie, Arthur looks a little bit taller, but let me go on this side, let's see if it's... Yeah, I'd say they're about the same. This guy's kind of leaning down, okay. By the same height as this guy. Careful, big man. Yeah, I would say about pretty much we're on the same level. All right, what about you, big man? Stand up, big guy. Yeah, I wasn't asking. Stand up. All right, let's see if we're the same height. Yeah, I mean, maybe Arthur's a smidge taller, but it depends on the angle. I think he's about the same height. You can walk up any hill, no matter its steepness, by aiming your gun down. So uh, let's see if this is really true. All right, so that's pretty steep. I mean, if I take my gun, uh, let's see if this works. It works in GTA, it should work here. Oh, oh, nope, busted. You can walk underwater. Okay, so to do this, uh, first things first, I'm going to need to delete all the water in the game. Alright, there we go. Now, uh, sorry poor fish. Now, just come down here, and now uh, enable the water again. Oh, yep. Yeah, I mean, you can see the outline of him. Okay, yeah, definitely true. It's definitely true. You can barely see him, but it's true. Alright, myth number 44. When knocking out NPCs, they will always stay unconscious for exactly two minutes and then wake up. Hey, buddy, you want to get knocked out? You're going down now. Come on, Arthur, he's an old man. Waste of my time. Started. All right. Exactly the two minutes it's promised. All right, well, it's been over two minutes. The guy's still knocked out. But yeah, busted. During epilogue one, if you leave Pronghorn for too long, Abigail will scold you, so. All right, well, goodbye, Abigail. I'm abandoning you and Jack forever. Let's see what happens. All right, so I think I'm gonna go to a nearby town. Where is he? <laughs> you useless piece of crap, Jim Milton. I've had it with you, I've had it with you. 
Look, Deputy, can we just cut to the chase and hang this sick bastard ourselves right now? Can we? <laughs> Man, can we please? I ain't quite sure that's the legal process. <laughs> okay. You're a degenerate. A failure. Getting mighty sick of this. I love you too, darling. Oh, crap. Okay, I mean, I guess that kind of counts as, like, uh, scolding. You can survive any fall as long as you consume a poisonous plant right before your descent. Oh, what the? Okay, wow, so apparently when you eat the poisonous plant, you get this vomiting animation and then basically Arthur doesn't lose fall damage. I wonder what this looks like from an incredibly tall height. All right, let's try this. Oh my god. Oh! Okay, so if you wait long enough, a dead body will decay. All right, now I'm just gonna place her down here where her body is very clearly visible. And we're gonna see if there's any sign of decay over the next few in-game hours or maybe even days. Depends on how long it takes. All right, I'm back. I waited like an in-game hour and oh. Oh yeah, there's a big difference. Look at that. Look at the, look at the bacteria and the, oh, that is disgusting. You can cut down a tree with a hatchet or ax. Let's see here, is this gonna work? It just sticks it in there, okay. Let's try it like this. Nope, come on, cut the tree down. Oh my God. All right, well there's gotta be like eight or nine hatches stuck to that tree and yeah, you can't cut down trees in this game. All right, when defending yourself against a hostile NPC, police officers will actually help you. Officers help, officers help. I've got some horrible people trying to fight me. Officers, officers please. Oh my God, are they just watching? Are you jerks just watching? I am literally not doing anything and you're not even helping. You guys are jerks. Oh my gosh. Law enforcement in 1899 just did not give a shit. All right, myth number 50. A player can get drunk during a very serious mission. Okay, so this is a pretty serious mission. This is where we're supposed to try to get Jack back from Braithwaite Manor. So I'm just wondering uh, if I can get drunk. All right, let's start drinking. Scale. We underestimated them. All right, still not drunk. Oh, I'm getting pretty drunk. Oh, ho. okay, it's working. Are you coming or what? I'm coming, Dutch. I'm coming. I'm just a little bit drunk. During the gunslinger mission with Emmett Granger, if you kill all the animals at his farm before talking to him, then instead of him asking you to clean up his manure like most people play the mission, he will instead immediately challenge you to the duel. All right, let me try to get to the animals first. Let's see, okay, killed pig. All right, it's like locked the mission. Unavailable due to your recent actions. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb then and say that that's not possible. You can take the Aberdeen siblings, the incest siblings, to jail. Surprised I've never tried this before. Thing is a strange around here, yeah. Okay, shut up. Oh, what the? Oh, no, let me lasso him. Oh god, it's not letting me lasso him. Oh, I can lasso the- I can lasso the bitch though. Alright, sit down. That's my girl. girl, that's your sister. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Okay, for some reason I can't lasso him. I think it's because he's super fat. But I could lasso the skinny sister. So, let's see if we can at least take her to jail and see if, um, uh, get a reward for this or something. Let me go, son of a bitch! Absolutely not. Uh, oh, listen, she is committing incest. I'm pretty sure that's a crime, right? I mean, maybe not in 1899. And this is kind of like Alabama country. Listen, she should be in jail, okay? She's a freak. Hold it right Come there. On. Let's just talk this through. Yeah, please. Let's talk this through. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Put her down. Put her down. Oh my god. Okay, you just shot her. Okay, well, she's dead. Nice going, officer. So you take them to jail, but it actually doesn't really amount to anything, so I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say busted. All right, you can shoot a drink out of someone's hand. All right, ready, and... Oh! 
Hair pomade will keep the player's head slick and shiny through any type of wind, water, rain, basically anything. It's the all-powerful gel, so let's give it a try. Let's get you, let's get you looking right, Arthur. Ooh. Alright, slick. Now let's see if this uh, beautiful slickness can survive water. Alright, let's see if we if we take a huge cannonball in the water, let's see if that affects it. Uh, nope, still looking slick. Alright, what if it was like super rainy and windy? Okay, it looks like his hair does get a little bit uh, messed up. It's still slick though, it's still maintaining its slick. Does that count? I mean, it's kind of waving around, but it's still slick. I think I'm gonna count it. Hair pomade. Alright. You can tightrope walk. Let's see. Oh, I just phased right through it. All right, let's try a different kind of wire. All right, we've got a tightrope here. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, oh, no. Well, guys, I guess you can't. Myth busted. Myth number 56. You can single-handedly kill an entire town with your fists without dying. They have a lot of guns here, but we, if we're quick about it, we should be okay. Oh, they're pulling out guns. Run, 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 run. Just draw them in here. All right. Tire Town is uh, pretty much knocked out. Clocks and watches tell the actual time in game correctly. All right. There's a pocket watch right here. Let's examine it. Current time, it's stating at 846. And it's about 8.47, it, it, the time passed. So yes, yes, they actually do. True, Uncle's Lumbago is curable. John! Well, this is kind of embarrassing, but I, I need a few things for a... A few things like what? Oh, just some whiskey and peppermint. And, oh, it's a long story. My body really hurts. Okay, so uncle wants us to gather all that bullshit basically because maybe it'll cure his lumbago. Okay All right, uncle. I got you everything you need for your lumbago. Okay. Here's the stuff you asked for It was a real hassle finding all this. Oh, thank God Judging by the way this this old dude is walking I would say that I did not cure his lumbago so not curable busted Blood will attract animal predators. Right, so I've got Micah here. Let's just shoot him, get all his blood out. All right, finally he's dead. Got a whole pool of Micah blood here. Let's see if this is bait. All right, been waiting here for like five minutes and no predator has approached. So even Micah's blood is not appetizing enough. Blood does not attract vicious predators. Busted. All right, myth number 60, and this one is inspired by interview with a vampire. Do vampires take fall damage? So I've got myself a uh, disgusting little vampire here. Just gonna throw him off. All right, and yep, he's definitely dead. Guns can work underwater. All right, you. Okay, yeah, I definitely was shooting at him, but he wasn't dying. So yeah, bullets actually don't work underwater, which is quite unrealistic. I'm pretty sure they should work at that range. In the mission A New Jerusalem, a blue jay will appear during the mission if you played Arthur with high honor only. Oh, there's the blue jay. I see it, found it. Yep, it's true. In the very first mission of the game, Arthur can kill Dutch by shooting the lamp he holds. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. Buddy. Oh crap, nope, nope, it doesn't let you shoot it, okay. Number 64, you can outrun a puma. All right, so I'm gonna spawn in a violent cougar. Come on, you're not gonna catch me, you're not gonna catch me. Oh, 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 he's got, he got hidden by some trees. He got hidden by some trees, oh, okay, nope, nope. Cougar is just too darn fast. Uh, you cannot kill fish with a gun. Really? That seems unlikely. All right, here's a fish. Nope. You can kidnap the vampire and take him to the authorities for a special event. Got someone special for you? No response, okay. Hey, got a blood sucking vampire. You guys want to take a look, see? Police Chief Lombarte. What are you looking at, boy? 
I'm talking to you. Man does not give two shits. Okay. Well, there's no special event. All right. Myth number 67. Okay. You can ignite urine. All right. Let's see. Nope. No, it's not flammable. Wait. Then why does this video exist? I don't know. That guy must have, like, faked that or some shit. Because this. You actually cannot. The mad scientist Marco Dragic is actually based off of real life inventor Nikola Tesla. I'm gonna need to do a little bit of research for this so you can see. There's Marco Dragic, there's Nikola Tesla. I already am seeing the resemblance. Both kind of crazy in the head, both Eastern European, both have the same dark hairstyle. I think I'm gonna go, go out on a limb and say this is indeed true. All right, spawned into Guarma. Let's find the ocean. All right, here we go. I can see the ocean. Oh, leave me alone, let me escape. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's similar to the new Austin sniper. There is a Guarma sniper uh, who will snipe you if you try to leave the island. Busted. Improved arrows can go through walls. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, wait a minute. I think it does go through the wall. Oh, yes it does. Yes it does, whereas with a normal arrow, the tip stops at the front of the at the front of the wall. Very cool. You can rob a store without even pulling out your weapon. Sir, give me your money. Give me your money. See what you have to do is you have to aim your weapon to start the robbery. So let me see if I can do something. If I come around and just kind of like, can I just take the cash? This is not an area for customers. Now please shut up. I don't need to pull out a weapon. I just need to look you right in your eyes, okay? I am robbing you okay do you understand what's the matter with you i am robbing you give me your money sir give me your money all right he doesn't understand see people don't understand unless you pull out the weapon you have to pull out the weapon whoa there now just put that gun down it's a necessary prerequisite so you can hunt all the legendary animals in the game before hosea even gives you the map now unfortunately this is going to be immediately busted simply because of the fact that you need the map for any legendary animals to be activated. All right, myth number 73. You can sit anywhere. As long as there's a chair, you can sit on it. Okay, can we sit on that chair right there? Nope, actually we can't. That sucks. You might need a mod for that, but base game, no. You can see your reflection in the water. Okay, well, I've got a shadow, but can I see the reflection? I don't think I can. It's so weird. For a game so detailed, you actually can't see your reflection in water. You can see the reflections of trees and stuff, but not you. Okay. There is an alcohol system in Red Dead Redemption 2, and you will pass out once that system hits an exact number. Now, this is actually true. If you look at the official guide of the game, there is an actual alcohol scale, and there's different levels of sobriety and drunkenness. There is a glitch where Arthur's facial hair can come out patchy. Okay, so I think I've seen this before, but in order to show you guys, I'm gonna need to shave my Arthur's face. All right, now let's see how this man's face fills in. Okay, my beard has filled in a bit. And yeah, I'm not really noticing any patchiness at all. His beard's pretty much perfect. In a general store, every piece of merchandise or food or drink can be destroyed. Okay, I'll okay, so you can destroy the alcohol. Each and every one of these individual ones. Can you destroy the cheese? Oh yeah, it just explodes. Oh my god, it explodes into little pieces. That's so cool. And there's even like, you can see like the little bits of salt. The salt. Oh, that's... That, that, that is amazing. What about candies? Oh, yep. All that breaks. The bread as well. Yeah. Baguettes. Everything. You can outrun a bear. Run, 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 run. Can I run him? Can I run him? Can I run him? Oh, nope. Nope. Okay. Number 79. You can binge eat whatever you want and never get fat. Right, now, currently, I'm at an a very average healthy weight but technically if i remember correctly i'm pretty sure arthur can only gain weight during screen fades basically in theory i could just eat as much as i wanted as long as i don't ever activate a screen fade i won't ever gain weight so let's give it a try 
All right, I've just been like absolutely mauling hundreds of cheese wedges and baguettes. Uh, and yeah, I don't think Arthur can gain weight. Yep, we're still average weight, so it's true. Myth number 80, NPC's glasses will protect them from an arrow in the eye. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, yep, clearly the glass doesn't help, as you can see. So if you don't give NPCs in camp privacy, they will kick you out. What are you doing back here? Big boss man. Could I get some privacy here, please? True. If you spill coffee on an NPC, they will scream in pain. Nope, they don't even feel it. Busted. You can cause millions of dollars of damage with just one fire arrow. So I'm gonna point this fire arrow at this oil field and... Okay, nope, I guess the fire arrow doesn't work on oil. That's weird, I thought oil was flammable. Food will rot after being left for so long. Uh, I'm back at the Aberdeens again because they had food here. Does food rot? Uh, it looks like, it kind of looks like it does. Yeah, I mean, this, this looks pretty disgusting. This doesn't look like it's fresh. I think it definitely looks like it's been changed from what it was when Arthur was originally served it during the cutscene. So I would say yes, food does actually rot in this game. True. All right, myth number 85. You can stay in the bath forever. So I'm gonna order the bath and we're gonna see if they ever end up kicking me out if I just decide to never leave. Let's see how long we can stay in here. Okay, so it's been like 24 in-game hours and I'm still in the bath. So yeah, you never get kicked out. All right, myth number 86. Hot coffee will stay warm even in cold climates. Yes, as you can see, my drink is still sizzling even though it's snowing outside, so. So, you can clean your guns by taking them in water instead of using gun oil. Right now, this is the current condition of my semi-automatic pistol. All right, did that clean it? Uh, nope, nope. Condition is still the same, so you do have to use gun oil. Setting the game on the worst graphics possible will actually lead to a lot of the map just straight up being removed. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like when it's not on the potato graphics, and this is what it looks like when it's on the potato. Wow, like literally almost the entire map is just like, I mean, this looks like Minecraft. Oh, this is terrible. Okay. Lighting a cigarette in the oil fields will cause a fire. Nope, as you can see, I'm foot deep in, I even threw my cigarette in the oil. Didn't make a difference, so clearly it's okay. Busted. Myth number 90, with low honor, it is easier to intimidate NPCs than it is with high honor. Uh, so currently I am using a low honor Arthur. Um, and let's just see how the, you know, gang, how the people in, of this town react to me. Do I have to worry about you? There we go. You see, I have low honor because I've tormented this town many times and obviously they remember me. So yeah, they're already intimidated by me. The blind man will not react to having a gun pointed at him. Doesn't get scared at all, doesn't even notice because he is in, indeed blind, you idiot. You heard that though. All right, if you shoot an oil wagon, holes will start pouring out oil and the bottomest holes will stop pouring last because, you know, gravity. So let's see. Okay, so for some reason these, these, these holes just will not stop pouring oil. I don't know how much freaking oil it is, but I think I'm just gonna say busted because these things just, neither of them are stopping it. If the player holds a gold bar while hugging the homeless man Mickey, the homeless man Mickey, Mickey will actually steal it from him. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Okay, just quickly. Is he gonna take the gold bar? Nope, I still have my gold bar. He didn't take it. All right, Mickey isn't a bad guy. All right, the vampire will die under direct sunlight. Uh, well, as you can see, nope, clearly not. He's being hit. Okay, you can break into Sisica Penitentiary. So I've currently got my hot air balloon. There's the prison over there. All right, well. Yes, uh, you definitely can break into it with a hot air balloon because I... Myth number 96, you can donate 20 million to the gang camp. Yes, this is true. I've done it before. 
You can get over 500 degree temperatures on the temperature meter simply by throwing down a fire bottle. Oh, there's a hundred. Oh, stop burning me. 900, 900, yes, you can actually get way more than 500. That was 908. All right, you can piss in Pearson's stew. Hey, Bill. <coughs> All right, let's see about this. Are you okay, Miss Karen? Oh, Sandy, yep. How are you? Yes, you can. Uh, Bill, you might not want to eat that, but <laughs> why are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. All right, myth number 99, Arthur can survive a fall from the highest saloon in the game. See if we can survive this fall. Oh, oh, nope, he can't, busted. Okay, myth 100, you can spend almost 2,000 hours playing this game. Answer is a definite yes. 